Hey, what's up everyone? Aubrey Trades with uh, another trade recap. I did so bad today. Another max loss day for me. $97. Closer to 140 with all the commissions. Uh, I don't know why I just can't seem to figure this shit out. I'm so fucking frustrated right now. Um... We'll talk about my trades. Okay. Um, so my idea, my continuation idea, Sybil. I missed this better entry here on the low um, and decided to take the entry when it popped back over and this like support area was holding. Uh, got in at 529, literally at the top, not buying the fucking dip that I always fucking talk about. And then had my stop set here at this 488, or uh, I had it set here at this like 490 here, 495. Ended up getting out at 491 um, on this crack. And that's, that's what it is. I mean, that's, you know, I was going for the continuation move. I held, I got stopped out, I followed the plan, right? Cool, whatever. Um, only thing I didn't do was buy the freaking dip. You know, here on this morning, on this pop, maybe it could have taken an entry here and maybe sold here. Not the best. Still not the best, right? I'll zoom out onto this 15 minute chart. Yeah. Okay. So what am I thinking now? Well, now I'm just going to let it chill. Maybe it wants to retest this 465 area, possible reversal. We'll keep an eye on it, right? And then uh, CBTC also did the thing that we were talking about, opening above here, gave us the gap down, missed it. Um, I And then I just, I haven't touched it because I already lost all the money. So, you know, couldn't bring myself to do it. Great entry, multiple good entry zones here by the cloud. Uh, still grinding up. I like to see it. Here's this daily chart here in the corner. At this like doji so we'll see what happens as the day continues and then here's the other thing I took an L on this showed up on an uh, Oracle scanner the signal was the break of a dollar we'll go over to the one minute chart because this is truly insane um, was the break of a dollar it perked up here to a dollar and I tried to get a sell off I tried to get a buy off <clears throat> only executed 50 shares up here and then I I got frustrated and started to perk again, and I was like, okay, no, like, let's go. Uh, got, you know, a thousand shares here at uh, 101 and then 103, and then I sold at 101 when it looked like it was going to break down. Really dumb, like, the stop should have been this 98 cent zone, and this ended up running all the way up to $3.20. I miss, I, 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 this is why I'm fucking mad. Like, Ah! So I take a bit, like I take a big L on Civil, the one that we were planning for, um, because my entry wasn't terribly great, and then I mess up the play that like would have been, you know, the play of the freaking month, right? Like, oh my god, a triple, a triple within less than an hour. My god, like that could have just turned my entire account around. But I got out because I just, in the moment, I didn't have this idea of, well, I got to set the stop here at 98, to be fair. That's the place to risk off of. Also, file under, not buying the freaking dip, right? Look, you had a chance to get in here at 101 at a dollar. I mean, it only touched a dollar real quick here, so I don't know if that fill would have actually gotten executed, but there was tons of time to get in at 102, 103, there was no need to stop out at 101. No need. So I'm just, I'm frustrated. You know, it's another max loss day. Net liquidity now at 6801 from 6943 yesterday. Remember, a beginning balance of this account was $9,100. We're down a lot. <laughs> and I'm just starting to feel really despondent. Um, it's all right. Tomorrow's another day. October challenge still in effect. Only OTC 
is going to be the focus. Only the OTC plays and only the freaking dip buys. Don't not buy on the freaking dip. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing way better than I am. Uh, literally do the opposite of everything that I do. And I'm sure you'll be a fucking millionaire. All right. I'll be back later today, like later tonight or in the morning with wa with a, a watch list, an update on on on, on what I'm seeing. Right. Uh, CBTC still in play for the afternoon. Uh, if it wants to hold and maybe give us, you know, maybe give us some play. If it bases here into the afternoon, maybe we get a push. I'd be into that. Uh, Sybil. Sybil's got to rotate down to this 465 zone and maybe clock a reversal. We'll see. It doesn't have to do anything, though. It really doesn't. Puge. Another one, you had a great dip opportunity here at the open to get in at this cloud zone. <sighs> Elis also up about 6% today. We'll see if it wants to rotate into this resistance. IFXY. Anyway. So, that's it. Yeah, what's Tiggy up to? Not a whole lot on Tiggy. So, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on... MMTLP just for the lulls see if it wants to do anything because this is just absolutely insane um, We're gonna look at CBTC. And we're gonna look at Sybil. Those are the top three watches for the day. Thanks so much in listed land We'll, we'll look at CEI uh, Failing this gap up here. We'll look at Grom Also failing I took a I took a quick here with uh, risk on three uh, 535 which would have been I would have been doing this off of the fifteen, uh, off of the five-minute chart. I would have had my risk five thirty-five. I'm sorry, my risk would have been here, and I got stopped out on this big pull. So five-dollar risk, whatever. I'm not supposed to play the listed stocks. I know, I know. It just looked too good to pass up. Need discipline. Need focus. All right, so. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what tickers you're watching. If you wanna, if you wanna do some technical analysis on it, I'll throw them up in the next video and we'll go over it together. Otherwise, Mobby Trades. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.